my Stampin' Friends. I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I have a lovely tutorial for you with this little box, this little gift box wrapped around with beautiful ribbon, Stampin' Up! products. And this gorgeous dragonfly which has just landed on the box. Well, that's my take on it anyway. It's gorgeous, don't you think? And lovely glittery... Um, wings are uh, all made with Stampin' Up! products and the Stampin' Up! products that I've used to make this are the detailed dragonfly thinlets. They're such gorgeous detail on those and so wonderful for your projects. Love them. And it coordinates with this Dragonfly Dreams stamp set too. You get lots of stamp, uh, stamps in there. You get 10 stamps. Uh, bees as well as the lovely dragonfly and lots of lovely sentiments so a fantastic stamp set that. So let's make this box and I'll show you how I made it today. Oh and just before I forgot to say that inside of my box is this gorgeous vanilla oh it smells gorgeous vanilla candle and I've wrapped it in some beautiful tissue paper too. So let's start uh, making our box. So today I'm going to use Emerald Envy cardstock and we're going to score our box. Um, this is for the base of the box and we're going to score that. This measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and all the measurements will be on my website um, for you to click on to and go over and visit me. That would be lovely. So eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. We're going to score it easy peasy two and a half inches on all four sides. So two and a half inches all four sides. Couldn't be easier. I like an easy box. Two and a half inches. So that's the base of the box. Now we're going to score the lid while we're here. And we're going to score the lid at one and a quarter inches on all four sides, one and a quarter inches. Again, easy peasy. So that's our lid done. So that's all our all our scoring done. So let's do a bit of folding and burnishing. going to cut our box up in the normal way, notching in on the sides. don't seem to use it very often but I really like it. It's a really pretty colour. you've never tried stamping up crafting products before then you're mad they're gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous you really don't know what you're missing they are so gorgeous and such great quality I love them I really love them right so we're going to put our box together in the normal way like that so glue on our tabs I just love candles and I know lots of my friends do too and my sister adores them as much as I do so they're a fantastic gift. 
can get them so lovely perfumes and what nicer than to put them into a box made with stamping up products fab fab so put our box together as you would normally fold it in and make sure that all those edges have been stuck so that is our box made and now we're going to wrap our candy in some tissue paper make that look all pretty That. And that fits in there nicely. There we are. Lovely. Now we're going to make our lid. So let's burnish that. up in the same way as the base, notching out. And now we're going to decorate it with our gorgeous designer papers and these are taken from the painter's palette set um, gorgeous colors that match with this emerald envy there's a stack of 48 sheets in the pack and they really are lovely Like I say, if you haven't tried stamping up products, then you must be mad. Because they're lovely, they're gorgeous, I love them. And I've cut four for the sides as well. All the measurements will be on my website. And I'd love for you to come and visit me. designer stack I think it matches it matches beautifully with the dragonfly uh, look because you want something that's what I call splodgy because I think that's what that's, well that is dragonflies what it is to me has anyone ever seen a dragonfly I have it land last year it landed on my raspberry canes and I was absolutely amazed at the detail on it. And this set shows that detail just perfectly. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Looking good. So on our tabs we've got our wet glue. And 
if you buy the Dragonfly Dreams as a bundle with the Framelit dies, you save 10%. So that's a good reason to buy it. Save 10%. Get such a lovely set. Make some gorgeous things with it. Cards as well as boxes. Fantastic. Right then, so that's our lid put together. Looking good. Let's just move that up the way for a moment. Let's just go in with our bone folder as always. Make sure that that's good and stuck. That's it. Bring in our box. Lid on. Lid on. Gorgeous. Now what I've already done in mint macaron this, this glimmer paper was part of the celebration, um, and that's mint macaron. I've cut that out already using the detailed dies and my precision base plate. So that one I've already cut out, but now we're going to stamp. I'm going to do some stamping. So let's put that to one side. So we're going to use our black archival ink so let me get that basic black archival ink I've chosen the basic black because it's in the designer paper the black so I'm coordinating everything so black archival ink get a block and this is a D block and we're going to put on this detailed one. Gorgeous detail. And that doesn't fit, does it? So we're going to need a bigger block. So you're going to need the, where is it? The E block. E block. So that fits onto the E block perfectly. Then we need a piece of very vanilla cardstock, which we've got here. And now we're going to ink up our dragonfly, ink him up. Make sure that you've got a good amount of ink on your dragonfly. Make sure that's done in the middle. good and inked so we need our when you use photopolymer stamps you should also always use your little cushion mat and we're going down straight down and hold it for a few seconds so that that ink can come into contact with the card and let's hope for the best and perfect, lovely, love it. Right, glue away now. We're going to bring in our big shot because we're going to cut that out. So let's go and get that. Here we are. So base, little plastic plate down. And then we're going to get our dies and we need this one. Cut that out, position that on there, like that, I think that's pretty good, top plate down, hold firm, run through. beautifully 
Now, who wouldn't want these gorgeous products? Look how that layers together like that. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's get this put together. Put our die back on our thing. Now we're going to use the Sweet Sugar Plum, 3 8 of an inch, ruched ribbon. I'm going to need a goodly amount. Let's hope I've got enough because it looks like I've run out. So let's hope that this will do it. Should just do it. If not, we'll just have to wrap it around one, once. But we're going to go for it. So under we go. Make sure that's about... You've got your lengths about the same. Do that in the middle. I've gone over to one side because that's how I want it. Oh yes, perfect. And um, how good is that? Pull that round. Pull that round and tie that into a knot. First, like that, and just rearrange the ribbon to how you want it, and then a bow, a bow, This root roast ribbon goes into a bow so well. Look at that, that's a perfect length. Couldn't be better. Ooh, I love it. Cut our ends so that they're nice and on the slant, as they say. And now we're going to put our little dragonfly, our gorgeous little dragonfly, get our wet glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit down the centre of his body. like that and then we're going to attach the two together like so oh wow so glittery you could use silver or gold wouldn't silver look gorgeous with this colour Together. and then just pull up his little wings like that could be her little wings for all I know couldn't it and that is just lovely whoops come along you know you want to stick right so how did I stick that on with a Oh, a little strip. So we're going to put a little strip so I've cut a little strip off my dimensionals and then I'm going to put that along the back of the little dragonfly like that pull that back in off and then he is going to sit on the ends of the ribbon like that and then we're going to pull up his wings because they should be dry now and they are pull up his wings like that and then that is our lovely little box is done don't you think they're stunning? They are stunning. They're gorgeous. Who in their right minds wouldn't want to buy these products? They're gorgeous. You just don't know what you're missing unless you've tried them. You really don't. They're beautiful. So if you'd like more details, don't forget that with an order this month, I'm sending you an extra little bag of so, the So Succulent... Um, the So Succulent dies already cut out so you can make water lilies flowers and I've added a couple of little butterflies as well so you can put them on your projects 
and that's a e little extra thing when you use my hostess code th this month when you shop online and I also send a handmade card and another little gift too. It's a lovely little package I send out as my part of my customer rewards club. So I'll see you in again with another tutorial in a couple of days time and until then it's bye from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.